What an absolutely electrifying time for Saab and its crown jewel, the Gripen fighter jet. Sure, Sweden recently celebrated the delivery of its very first Gripen E, but that moment now feels small compared to what could be on the horizon, a massive international breakthrough. Because right now, the talk of the aviation world is that Ukraine is moving closer to a potential Gripen deal, and that's not all. There's growing buzz that Canada might soon become a production hub for these cutting-edge jets, a move that could reshape global fighter jet manufacturing. In today's report, we're diving deep into this breaking story, how Ukraine's interest could redefine its air defense, and why pilots around the world call the Gripen a true pilot's aircraft. Just last month, Ukraine officially signed a letter of intent with Sweden's government, marking the first serious step toward acquiring the Gripen. After his meeting with Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson, President Volodymyr Zelensky took to social media and made a bold statement. We greatly value our relations with Sweden and all forms of support for our people. One of the key topics of our negotiations was strengthening Ukraine's defense capabilities. We consider the JS-39 Gripen aircraft to be one of the most effective elements of this effort, and we count on the first deliveries by 2026. This single statement sent shockwaves through defense circles, signaling not just another purchase, but a strategic transformation in Ukraine's air power. But what makes this potential deal so significant, and how could Canada suddenly become part of Saab's production network? Let's break that down next. Viewers, if you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe to Viper Jet Wings. Sweden's leadership isn't holding back their excitement. Saab CEO Mikael Johansson emphasized that this deal would strengthen not just Ukraine, but Sweden and all of Europe. Even Sweden's defense minister Paul Johnson confirmed, we are one step closer to seeing Gripen jets protecting Ukraine's airspace. According to insiders, Ukraine has requested between 100 to 150 Gripen E-fighters, an enormous number that could make this one of the largest fighter export deals in Swedish history. For comparison, so far, Saab has firm orders for 60 Gripen S for Sweden and 36 for Brazil. So, if Ukraine's deal goes through, Saab's production line would more than double, turning this into a historic manufacturing challenge. But here's the twist. Despite the hype, it's still just a letter of intent, not a finalized deal. That means two big questions remain unanswered. Where will the money come from? And why now? Many defense analysts point out that such a move could have helped Ukraine years ago, especially early in the war. But, as they say, better late than never. During his visit to Sweden, President Zelensky even toured Saab's grip and production facility, signaling how serious Kiev is about this collaboration. Yet, there's one major bottleneck, time. Ukraine can't afford to wait years for new jets, especially when Sweden already has over 50 Gripens in its own production queue. And that's exactly where things get very interesting, because Saab is now exploring the idea of assembling Gripens in Canada, a move that could not only speed up deliveries, but also expand Saab's global footprint in a way we've never seen before. So, why Canada? What makes it the perfect location? And how could it reshape global fighter production? Let's find out next. The story doesn't stop in Sweden. It's now crossing the Atlantic. According to CBC, Saab's CEO Mikhail Johansson recently told the Financial Times and Reuters that if Ukraine's potential order of over 100 Gripen jets goes through, it would double Saab's current production capacity. And to handle that massive demand, Saab is now exploring new assembly options, possibly in Canada or Europe. In a statement to the Canadian press, Simon Carroll, president of Saab Canada, described Canada as a strategic hub for expansion. He said Saab views Canada and its formidable aerospace industry as a key partner to meet the surging global demand for fighter jets.
Carroll added that Saab is already strengthening its relationships with Canadian defense contractors and aerospace firms, not just for local production, but also to support exports. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. Canada has long been searching for a replacement for its aging CF-18 fighters, and the Gripen E was once considered a strong alternative to the F-35. But things are heating up again. Because as trade tensions rise between Ottawa and Washington, the idea of assembling Gripens on Canadian soil suddenly looks more attractive, both politically and economically. However, there's still division within the Canadian military itself. Some top officials insist the F-35 deal must continue, arguing it keeps Canada tightly integrated with NATO and U.S. operations. Others see the Gripen as the smarter path, more independent, cost-efficient, and geopolitically flexible. So, could Canada really become Saab's next big production base? And what stands in the way? Well, there's one powerful player that could change everything, and yes, it's the United States. Let's talk about that next. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this breakdown insightful, now here's where the story takes a sharp and unpredictable turn. Because there's one major factor that could completely derail Saab's plans with both Ukraine and Canada, and that's none other than the United States and its leadership. You see, the grip in E, as advanced as it is, relies on an American-made heart, the General Electric F414G engine. That single component gives Washington enormous leverage over where and to whom Saab can sell its jets. And with Donald Trump potentially back in power, defense analysts are warning that the U.S. could block or delay export approvals, especially if it threatens the sales of America's own fighter, the F-35. Think about it, would Washington really allow Canada to assemble Gripens when it's already pushing hard for Ottawa to finalize its F-35 deal? Blocking Gripen sales could simply guarantee U.S. dominance in the Canadian defense market. As for Ukraine, while it sounds unlikely the U.S. would directly block an ally's defense purchase, remember, Washington already refused to provide long-range Tomahawk missiles that could have given Ukraine a deep strike capability. So the idea of export restrictions isn't far-fetched at all. And with current U.S.-Canada relations already strained, it's possible Washington may not want to see Canada profit from the assembly and export of an aircraft powered by an American engine. Uncertainty is the name of the game right now. Politics, production rights, and global alliances all tangled in one high-stakes story. But despite all this turbulence, one thing is crystal clear. The grip in E continues to earn global respect. It may not be a stealthy fifth-generation fighter like the F-35, but its latest upgrades, radar systems, electronic warfare, and data link capabilities make it a true 4.5-generation beast that's capturing the world's attention. So what exactly makes the Gripen such a pilot favorite? And why are some saying it's the jet that could change the balance for smaller air forces? Let's dive into its secret strengths next. Let's take a closer look at why the Gripen E has become one of the most talked about jets in the world right now. Designed as a true multi-role aircraft, Saab engineered the Gripen to be fast, flexible, and affordable, a rare combination in modern fighter aviation. One of its biggest advantages? Ease of maintenance. Saab claims the Gripen's entire engine can be swapped out in under one hour. That means less downtime and more jets ready to fly when it matters most. It also supports hot refueling, allowing ground crews to refuel the aircraft with engines still running, a critical advantage during high-tempo missions. And perhaps most impressively, the Gripen can take off and land on highways or damaged runways. Its reinforced landing gear keeps the jet higher above debris, preventing engine damage while allowing rapid dispersal from conventional bases, something Ukrainian pilots say could be game-changing in a war zone. The Gripen's design also reduces radar detection. 
its side-mounted air intakes and compact airframe make it harder for enemy systems to track, while still carrying both American and European weapons, giving operators unmatched versatility. No wonder the aircraft is being called the talk of the town. A recent Business Insider article quoted a Ukrainian MiG-29 pilot, Vadim Karaya Voroshilov, who said the Gripen is the only jet in the world I'd sell my soul for. That's not marketing, that's real passion from a combat pilot who knows what's at stake. And judging by the feedback from aviation fans worldwide, including many of you watching, the Gripen has already won hearts for its simplicity, reliability, and combat readiness. But now, the big questions remain. Will Ukraine actually secure this massive deal? Will Canada become the next hub for Gripen production? Or will US restrictions on the engine end up killing the dream? Let's hear your take. Do you think the Gripen's rise is unstoppable, or will politics get in the way? Drop your thoughts below. And as always, this is Viper Jet Wings, bringing you the latest in global defense aviation.